After we orient our corner pieces and have our four headlight patterns done on our cube, we were only left with fixing the four edge pieces on the top layer. Now you could end up again with a solved cube after that step, which we'll ignore. Most of the time you'll end up with one solved, completely solved side. So we have our entire blue side here. Headlights plus the edge pieces oriented correctly. And then the other three edge pieces are uh, need to be moved around. Or you'll end up in a position where none of your edge pieces are matched up with your headlight pattern. So here we have our headlight patterns, but you see this is orange and that doesn't match up with the red. So when we match up our headlight patterns, it produces edge pieces and you notice that these are all in their wrong spot. So those are the two main possibilities you'll get. Either one completely solved edge or zero completely solved edge. Now again, we're only using one algorithm. We're just orienting the cube differently um, depending on which case we get. So first we'll start with no solved edges. Now when we have this, we're just going to go ahead and ignore where the cube is and we're going to do our algorithm. So it's R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R two. And what that will do is rotate those edges around to give us one solved side. So here we have our solved side. In this example, we also have a solved side. So once we have one entirely solved side, we'll line that up with its side. So here we have our green. And then we're going to orient our cube so that is in the back side of the cube. Now what the move I just showed you does is it rotates these three pieces, leaving this edge piece alone, rotates these three pieces in a counterclockwise direction. So this piece will move here, this piece will move here, this piece will move here. Okay, we notice that's good because this piece is blue, it's going to rotate to the blue side, red piece will move here, and this piece again is staying uh, just how it is, which is already solved, which is what we want. So again, R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R two, and that will finish our cube. Sometimes you may have to do this twice. Um, I'll show you that case right here. So we have our soft side in the back. You notice these are rotating them counterclockwise, so this is going to move the orange to the green, red to the orange, green to the red. So we notice that that's not going to solve it. We do the move. R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. So that rotated our edges clockwise or counterclockwise. It leaves our solve side in the back. And we notice now that green will move here, orange will move here, red will jump across. So R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R two, and that will finish our cube off. Okay, if for some reason that's not working. Um, you need to either make sure you have your soft side in the back, or one of your pieces may have fallen out and you put it in incorrectly. But at this point, you should have solved your first Rubik's cube, um, or have come back to relearn it or um, get better than your previous times. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, please post any comments or questions you have. You can either send them to me directly or post them on the video itself. Um, I'm also available if you'd like any more advanced videos or videos um, on any questions you might have. Uh, I'm happy to answer those. I enjoy teaching people how to cube, hence why I'm making these videos as well as my cube guide. Um, written cube guide and also just the people that I teach. Um, I enjoy looking at videos online. The world record I think right now is 5.66 seconds um, by like a 15 year old Australian kid um, so that's pretty impressive and what's even more impressive about his um, skill is that he is color neutral meaning he doesn't always start with the white cross so I always start with the white cross so I'm used to the patterns and the colors that will come up and that allows my recognition and ability to look ahead. Um, it improves that and gives me the ability to have faster times. He has an amazing visual cortex and can recognize all sorts of patterns at any given time and he starts um, by identifying the easiest cross um, he can get and then going from there. They get 15 seconds to inspect the cube before each um, official solve so in that time he determines um, which color he wants and then how he's going to do that cross and does that 
within a second, which is um, remarkable. The majority of people, cubers, speed cubers alike, um, solve one side. They get used to solving it. They learn those patterns, learn the color combinations, and whatnot. But he's color neutral. Um, takes a ton of practice, I can imagine. But that might be why he has hold held the single solve uh, world record for a couple of years now, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, there's lots of tutorials online if you're looking for larger cubes. Um, I have a 4x4 four four here. Um, got a 2x2 two two even. You notice the little 5x5 five five back here in the corner. We got our bigger ones here. So we got our 6x6 six six, and then 7x7 seven seven here. As you can see, I've worked on a little bit. It's pretty hard to uh, get going though. But uh, yeah. There's tutorials for those online if you're interested in those as well. Um, I hope to make some more videos on random things or example solves or any questions that might come up to answer those. Uh, thanks again for watching, and again, let me know if you have any questions.